Assalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum. Peace be with you. Namaste. Good evening, dearest brothers and sisters in the East, and good morning, dearest brothers and sisters in the West. We've been given another moment, a moment in which to surrender ourselves, body and soul, to the awareness that all of God is present with us right now, that the light that shines through the universe, the light of God, is shining within us at the same time. For this astounding miracle, for the miracle of knowing that we are one sacred and holy family, let's join in holy prayer with one another. Let's pray. Ah, oh, beloved source of our being, we're so grateful for yet another moment in which to be aware of your splendid beauty, your perfect peace, your absolute love, the always harmony that you are, the perfect mercy, the always forgiveness, the state of grace that you give to us whenever we ask. We're so grateful for the sacred and unified family that you have created us to be, for we know that we are all brothers and sisters. We are a family in Africa, in Pakistan, in Burma, in India, in the United States, in North and South Korea, in Iran, in Syria, in the Middle East, in Europe and Great Britain, in Australia, all over this dear planet. We are one sacred, holy family. And we are this family because you have created us to be this family, this family of one, always knowing that if our brother or sister is hurting, then we are hurting. If our brother or sister is joyful, then we are joyful, always knowing that if there is an orphan, we are that orphan. If there is a widow, we are that widow. Always knowing that wherever we are, wherever we go, your perfect love is your love, which is for every single human being the same perfect love. We rejoice in knowing that in your holy arms, in your holy and unified heart, we are one. And we celebrate this oneness that we are. We feel it in our hospitals, in our prison yards, in our classrooms. We feel it in the halls of government. We recognize it in the footsteps of our beloved prophets. Oh, peace be upon them, Jesus and Muhammad. Oh, peace be upon them both, who have shown us that it is not only possible, it is necessary to walk always in the footsteps of peace, to avoid a petty quarrel, to walk always knowing that wherever we are, you are, and all is well. Grant that this day we may take a fast from any kind of prejudice or fear that would keep us from knowing the fullness of your glory. Grant that this day we may dine upon only love, your perfect love. Grant that this day we may dine only upon forgiveness, mercy, perfect tolerance, and perfect justice. Grant that the foods of your spirit may be our food, drawing us closer and closer to you, beloved source of our being. For all of this and more, and for what we can't even begin to imagine, we are so deeply grateful. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. And amen.
Good morning. Good evening. I hope I will say your names correctly. If I don't, please forgive me. It's my own ignorance. So I will try. Mo Traman. I hope that's correct. And um, I don't. I cannot speak your language, and I can't read it. So please forgive me. But I see the name Allah, and that's enough for me. The God of love, the God of peace. And may God bless you all. And inshallah, God willing, we will see each other tomorrow. Thank you so much for praying with me. It is such a deep honor. It is such a deep honor. As you break your fast and prepare for your evening meal, know that we are all blessed by your fast. Have a beautiful evening meal with your friends and your family. Sleep in the arms of peace when you awaken. Awaken ready and refresh to serve our God of love once again. And if you are in the West, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. Let's be glad in it. Let's go forth and be instruments of peace. Bless you all. Inshallah, God willing, we will see each other tomorrow.